IBM C1130 actual dumps are newly updated for you to practice real questions. 1. Which statement is true about the Confluent platform capability for the IBM CloudPoc for integration? A. It provides the ability to trace transactions through IBM CloudPoc for integration. B. It provides a capability that allows user to store, manage, and retrieve integration assets in IBM CloudPoc for integration. C. It provides APIs to discover applications, platforms, and infrastructure in the environment. D. It provides an event streaming platform to organize and manage data from many different sources with one reliable, high-performance system. Answer. B. 2. Which statement is true about AppConnect Designer? A. Only one instance of AppConnect Designer can be created in a namespace. B. For each AppConnect Designer instance, a corresponding toolkit instance must be created. C. Multiple instances of AppConnect Designer can be created in a namespace. D. AppConnect Designer must be linked to a toolkit for validation. Answer. C. 3. Which OpenShift component controls the placement of workloads on nodes for CloudPoc for integration deployments? A. API Server B. Controller Manager C. E. T. C. D D. Scheduler Answer. D. 4. An administrator has been given an OpenShift cluster to install CloudPoc for integration. What can the administrator use to determine if the infrastructure prerequisites are met by the cluster? A. Use the OC cluster status command to dump the node capacity and utilization statistics for all the nodes. B. Use the OC get nodes a wide command to obtain the capacity and utilization statistics of memory and compute of the nodes. C. Use the OC use the OC describe nodes command to dump the node capacity and utilization statistics for all the nodes. D. Use the admiral top nodes command to obtain the capacity and utilization statistics of memory and compute of the nodes. Answer. D. 5. What role is required to install OpenShift GitOps? A. Cluster operator. B. Cluster admin. C. Admin. D. Operator. Answer. B. 6. Which service receives audit data and collects application logs in CloudPoc foundational services? A. Logging service. B. Audit syslog service. C. System journal. D. Fluented service. Answer. B. 7. Which statement is true about enabling open tracing for API Connect? A. Only APIs using API Gateway can be traced in the Operations Dashboard. B. API Debug Data is made available in OpenShift Cluster Logging. C. This feature is only available in non-production deployment profiles. D. Trace data can be viewed in analytics dashboards. Answer. A. 8. In CloudPoc for integration, which user role can replace default keys and certificates? A. Cluster manager. B. Super user. C. System user. D. Cluster administrator. Answer. 
9. What are two capabilities of the IBM Cloud POC foundational services operator? A. Messaging service to get robust and reliable messaging services. B. Automation assets service to store, manage, and retrieve integration assets. C. License service that reports the license use of the product and its underlying product details that are deployed in the containerized environment. D. API management service for managing the APIs created on API Connect. EIM services for authentication and authorization. Answer. D. E. 10. Which diagnostic information must be gathered and provided to IBM support for troubleshooting the CloudPoc for integration instance? A. Standard OpenShift Container Platform Logs B. Platform Navigator Event Logs C. CloudPoc for Integration Activity Logs D. Integration Tracing Activity Reports Answer. C.